Of course, of course. Hey, look, I will give anybody out here five hundred dollars if y'all can prove God love everybody in the Bible. I will cash out anybody out here five hundred dollars if y'all can prove that God loves anybody outside of blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans in this Bible. Right, that's right. If they not gonna hearken to you. What's going on, sis? Uh huh. He love the world, right? Okay, let's get this 19 and 44, that's all you really need to know Fast and pray away these demons Get yourself some room to grow They selling all these cancerous products Up at the corner store We trying to warn our people And teach them how we all been brought low And they scared of the popo Sakari the logo Alright, so you give me Jeremiah 31 and 4 Right, because you understand the importance of delivering this message to you, to you blacks and Hispanics who have lost your identity due to colonization, right? Due to colonialism, right? And the, the disparaging that took place on blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans by these so-called Caucasians, right? The Edomites of the Bible. We understand the importance of coming out and getting you people who still find yourselves in the land of your captivity this information. That's right. Right? We understand the importance of delivering the gospel of Christ because it brings you all back to the understanding of the importance of being the Israelite, man. Right? And what comes with it, the information that you receive, like I say, with, with, much, with much understanding, right? Because of much responsibility, man. Right? So we, what's going on, sis? You wanna come talk to me right quick? Wanna come have a conversation with me right quick? Ma'am? Y'all come have a conversation with y'all believe y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in the Bible? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. The Holy Bible, you believe in the Bible? But that's what we up here teaching. You wanna come have a conversation with us? Yeah. Right? When you look in the Bible, right, give me Ezekiel 3. Come on. There's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 4. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. Go get thee into the house of Israel. So the Lord God told his prophets to go to the house of Israel, right? For some reason, your pastors teach you that the, this doctrine, that the, this book is an all-inclusive book. That it's supposed to be spread to all nations of people, right? All nationalities of people. But in reality, he said, go get teach to the house of Israel, man. Go speak to the house of Israel, right? Anybody with that type of style, man, it's probably ain't fair. Right? Go ahead. And speak with my words unto them. And that's all we do. We come and say, Thus said the Lord to the children of Israel. The people that you see on this side right here, right? We come out every week as often as possible teaching blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans y'all true nationality. Right? Because you will never find a country of black, man. I give anybody out here a hundred dollars if they can point to me the country of black on the atlas, man. Right, but you all walk up and down Bill Street identifying as black people. I ain't seen not one black person out here today. Excuse me, sister, I got you a question. What's your ethnicity? You black, right? Where is the country of black is? Ain't nowhere. So why you call yourself black? You American? Before your people were, were forced to come to America, come talk to me. You ain't no worse. You say what? We don't know why. We don't know why. Because our ancestors was brought over here in slavery, right? And they were beaten and stripped of their information, right? Isn't that what happened? Yeah, you was born here, but you descended from a, a people group from over there. What people group, though? You don't know, right? Read this. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And now, what's more, what's more important? Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with listen, right? You think you would you forget the, the conversation or something? No, so, so what's wrong with having, I'm cheating to have, like, I would take that as being rude. You have a conversation with me instead of going up and down. What's up? I'm uh, walking up. Well, get a flyer, man, right? Check out the information. When you so up, when you so up, check out the information. You got the YouTube on there, right? The Instagram phone numbers, etc. if you have questions in regards to the information that you find on that piece of paper, okay? Okay, okay just know you're an Israelite. You, you ever heard of the Israelites? You ever heard of the Israelites? Yeah. yeah. Check out this sign before you walk off. The Israelites are God's chosen people, okay? 
it's time for the Israelites to understand who they are because they were stripped of their information. You understand that, sister? So when you look, more than likely, you come from the tribe of Judah. This one right here at the very top. All right, sister. Yeah, no trouble, sister. Enjoy your day. Yep. Yep. Right, go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah um, 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. The Bible is telling the Israelites that they were discontinued from their heritage. Ten out of ten of the black people, so-called, right, that walk up and down Beatrice will admit that they have discontinued from their heritage. Right? Who else would this information pertain to them? Or who else would this book be talking about if it's saying that the Israelites would discontinue from their heritage and then you find that you so-called blacks and Hispanics fit that very description? A, a, a full demographic of people who have been stripped of their, their natural information of, of, of heritage, man. Right? Would you agree to that, brother? Right? That black people don't have a heritage. Right? So what is our heritage, but how, how do we come to find what our heritage is? Right, that don't matter, right? That don't matter. Right? Calm down, man. Hey, yeah. Hey, well, they, they called us niggas in the Bible. So you're right. They did, man. Right? Go ahead. Get the book with you. Hey, y'all knew the word nigga was in the Bible? Hey. Hey, y'all knew, yeah. Y'all knew the word nigga was in the Bible? You knew that. Where is it? Where is it in the Bible? He's a liar, right? Ball face lock, right? No, nah, don't get. I don't want eggs. I'm gonna get the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, and verse five. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I ask you a question. You believe in God? You, how do you show a belief in God? How, what does that look like? A person that believes in God, how do they display it though? I'm, I, can you use words, brother? God is within. But how does it show? Everything that is within has to show without, right? Okay. And how are we supposed to treat it? Okay. And how do we supposed to live our life? Okay. But what does that look like, brother? Okay. 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 So according to the Bible, can you give me a scripture that shows me how to display God being within me? Because I can do that for you. The Bible says, Jesus spoke unto the disciples. Uh -huh. Why are ye gazing at the sky? Okay. Know ye not that heaven cannot be observed. Okay, yeah. Don't look here and there. The kingdom of God. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, yeah. I agree. I'll uh, pray. I'll take that. Get a brother a flyer, man. I gotta go. Uh, get the flyer, brother. Get the flyer, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I would let them live, man. I would let them live. I gotta let them live with them. Yeah, yeah. Because they still don't show what it looked like on the outside. If you get the evidence within, right, it still is supposed to manifest itself within your action. Right? The scriptures say what? Don't show love in just word and in tongue. Right? You show your love for God through your actions and your deeds, man. Right? That's what the Bible says. What are those actions and those deeds? Keeping the laws of God. You know where to find the laws of God, sister? Nah. You believe in God? Yeah? Would you like to know where to find the laws of God so that you can start keeping them? Right? You find the laws of God in what you call the Torah. You ever heard of the Torah? Nah. The Torah is the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Within those books of the Bible, you find a, a whole codified law that teaches the children of Israel, the Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what it takes to please God. Did y'all know that? Nah, let me show you this, right? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 12. Right? You look around, you see very significant, very distinguishing features about our shirts up here, right? Right? You don't see anybody else out here with those things on their shirts. Right? This is one of the ways that you know God is within and he's going to show himself without, right? He's going to show himself in your outer appearance. You will know a man of God or a woman of God according to the outward appearance. By keeping certain laws. Let me show you this law in the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 12. Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters of thy vessel. And it said, Thou shalt make thee fringes in the four quarters of thy vessel. You a Christian, right? Y'all, you a Christian? Spiritual? Okay, that's fine. That's a good answer. That's a good answer, right? But y'all been taught the Bible y'all whole lives, right? Y'all ain't never not once heard that, right? Ain't that a problem? Right, five minute conversation, you just learned something that you ain't heard over 20 plus years of living, right? 
uh, 20 plus years of going to a church, right? Right, so how is it that this is clearly in the first five books of the Bible? We ain't even all the way in Revelation. We in the first five books of the Bible, right? And we not once have your pastor went to not one of the first five books of the Bible to tell you what you're supposed to do to please God. Ain't that a problem, right? Don't, ain't that, don't that mean that it's time to relook at, at the, 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 the doctrine that's being taught in these churches, right? Because if it ain't telling you how to please God, what's the point of going to that building? If he ain't teaching you what it really takes to please God, what's the point of going to that building? What's the point of believing and, 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 and actually following the teachings of that man? Right? Keep going. Upon thy, for in the four quarters of thy vestures, wherewith thou coverest thyself, right? Wherewith thou coverest thyself. This is a covering. It's a, it's a covering because it's utilized to remind you to keep the commandments of God. Right, you're supposed to look on these when you're walking up and down throughout Bill Street, right? And and, and and thoughts coming to your mind that go adverse to the commandments of God, all the rest of these four books of the Bible. Go here, brother. Okay. In the Hebrew alphabet, it's not a J. So what did you do? It ain't a J. That's because his name not Jesus, brother. His name not Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shah. I'm gonna tell you right now, his name is Yahweh Shah. Okay? In the ancient Paleo Hebrew, you find that his name is Yahweh Shah. Jesus, right, is a Greek reiteration or a transliteration of the name Joshua. Right? So his name, Joshua in the English, Jesus in the Greek, right? Jesus, Joshua, but it goes back in the Hebrew to Yahweh Shah. Okay, that's the real name of, of Christ, Yahweh Shah. Right, so we want to call on the name of the Most High God. His name is Yahweh. Right, people say Jehovah, people say Yahweh, but in the ancient Hebrew that Christ spoke, that Moses spoke, David, right, Abraham, all these people, they knew him as Yahweh. Y a h a w a h. Right, more than likely on that piece of paper right there. Okay, so you have what you know as the tetragrammaton, which is those four characters. That you find all throughout the Hebrew Bible that talk about the name of the Lord, that give you the name of the Lord, right? That in the English, how you say it is Yahweh. Okay? Alright, brother. It, it, it shouldn't make sense. It should in this book, I'm gonna tell you something right here, right? This book right here, because it's a 1611, the oldest rendition of the full English version of the Bible. The letter J isn't in this book. It's eyes. Everywhere you see a J is really an I in this book. Right? So that lets you know even. Within the 1600s, the letter J wasn't being used. So his name couldn't have been Jesus, not even before the 1600s. You see that? So the, his name is Yahweh Shah, brother, okay? Right? And Yahweh Shah said, it's time for, give me uh, Matthew 5 and 17. Right? I'm going to tell you what Yahweh Shah said. That's why we come out here, we say, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because you would have to be speaking in ignorance to call him the name Jesus because you don't understand history of that lineage, right? Even though the, the world knows him as, as Jesus, we say ignorantly know him as Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah, right? Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I don't come to destroy the law. What did he say? Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophet. He said, think not. This is Christ speaking. He said, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets, right? When you go to these buildings, right, that we know as churches, right? They tell you what? You don't have to keep the laws of God. Have you ever heard that y'all gotta keep the laws of God no more? Right? Y'all ain't never, have you, do you gotta keep the law of God? You don't know. Do you have to keep the law of God? Anybody, do you have to keep the law of God, brother? You do? Do you keep the laws of God? For the most part, okay, right, right? But mainstream, mainstream Christianity will tell you what? You don't have to keep the law, all you need is faith. All you have to do is believe on Christ, Right? And you will receive salvation in the end. Right? But Christ's own word says, what? You have, don't think that I came to destroy that law that these people teach you that you don't have to keep no more. Right? He said, don't think I came to destroy the law or the prophets. Go ahead. I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth have. We can see that heaven and earth still exist. Right? We still got our feet on earth right now. Right? It said, until heaven and earth pass. It hasn't passed away yet. Right? Go ahead. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Verse 19, whether so, whether so ever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. The Bible is saying, right? Christ says, 
whoever will break one of the least commandments. This right here, these fringes, these one of the least commandments. Very simple, very, uh, what you say, meticulous, right? Very trivial commandment. Just put some fringes on your shirt, right? Just putting the fringe on your dress, right? Just wearing fringes on your clothes should be considered something very small, right? Just an article of clothing. He said, if you break one of these least commandments, go ahead. It shall teach men so and teach other people that oh you don't you don't gotta do that, bro. It ain't that serious, right? God know your heart. Y'all all heard it, right? Go ahead. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He said if you do that, if you break them, and as well as teach that you don't have to keep them, you shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Is that something that you want the title on? Least least in the kingdom of heaven? Huh? Nah, right? Let me show you another law. Hey, y'all got time for one more law? Y'all eat pork? Y'all eat pork? No pork? I'll praise. Y'all eat shrimp, crab, lobster? Y'all do? Let me show you this in the Bible. Let me Leviticus 11. Y'all know God said y'all ain't supposed to eat abominable foods out the sea. Y'all familiar with that? Now, it ain't nothing to be ashamed, though. I said, I said, did y'all know that God said you're not supposed to eat certain foods out of the sea? So you know you ain't supposed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster. You ain't know that, right? Let me show you this. Here's the book of Leviticus. Chapter, chapter 11 and verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. These shall ye eat. This is what you can eat that you find out of the waters. Right? Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, then shall ye eat. See that? It said if it has fins and scales. Do crabs have scales? Do shrimp have scales? Right? Do crawfish have scales? Do alligators have scales? Do people eat gator? Huh? Do these things have scales? Do 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 lobster have scales? Do crab? No, it don't. Right? But it said the only thing you can eat out of the waters is what has fins and scales. You see that? Go ahead. Verse ten. And all that and all that have not fins nor scales in the seas. If it don't have fins and scales, catfish do catfish have scales? Nope. It said if it don't have fins and scales, go ahead. In the rivers and all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They what? They shall be an abomination unto you. It said that catfish, right? That crawfish, that shrimp, crab, lobster, right? That that crab boy that y'all go and spend hundreds of dollars on, right? Is an abomination unto you, right? And we don't want to be abominable, do we? Now, abomination is a horrible thing, right? So the most I said that pork shouldn't be on your fork and neither should none of those abominable things out the sea. All right? And y'all got to start getting y'all some fridge. The information to contact us, y'all have any other questions, is on that piece of paper right there, okay? All right? Y'all enjoy y'all day. No problem, brother. All right? I'll praise the most I. All right? All right? One of a thousand, man. Go ahead. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 5. But thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language. Yeah, it ain't hard if y'all understand what we saying over here. We might speak with slurs, we might speak with slang, but you blacks and Hispanics understand very well what we up here teaching, man. Y'all up here can tell exactly what I'm saying. It registers in your brain, and whether or not you will actually take heed of it is a completely different situation, right? We know that y'all understand exactly what this word is saying, man. It ain't hard to hear. Fins and scales must be on the things you eat out of the sea. It ain't hard to hear and understand that the law is not done away with, so you got to keep the laws to please God. It's not hard to understand what we're up here saying, man. Right? It ain't like we're up here speaking in the ancient Hebrew for real. Right? It ain't like we're up here speaking in Greek, speaking in Latin. Right? It, we, ain't, we ain't up here even speaking in Spanish. Right? French. So some of y'all took French and Spanish in high school, and we still ain't up here coming up here trying to speak in different languages. Right? So y'all understand exactly what we saying, man. And God know y'all hear us. Right? And God know that more than likely most of y'all is going to turn y'all ear away from me. He knows that majority of you blacks and Hispanics is hard-headed as hell, man. Right? Y'all been hard-headed since little kids. Y'all be hard-headed all the way until you die, man. It's a damn shame, man. Go ahead. Back to the house of Israel, who? Back to the house of Israel. He said we ain't going to talk to other nations, right? They speak different languages, right? People of a strange tongue, right? He said, but get to the house of Israel, right? Your own people, go ahead. Not too many people of a strange speech and of an hard language, who words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. And it's a trip, right? 
Because if we if we went and tried to teach this information to people of a of a of a, a completely different nationality than us, right? Can barely understand English. First generation Chinese man, right? A first generation China man. Uh, take heed to this word before you so-called blacks and Hispanics. Right? What what you want? What you what's up? What's going on, man? And let me ask you a question. You believe in God? You believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. Yeah. I give you a hundred dollars. They listen very close. Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? Does God love everybody? Yes, sir. He does. Can you prove it in the Bible? Can you prove? Can you prove God loves everybody in the Bible? Do it. Do it. Do it. What scripture that proves God loves everybody in the Bible? One scripture that proves God loves everybody in the Bible. Of course. Of course. Hey, look. I will give anybody out here five hundred dollars if y'all can prove God loves everybody in the Bible. I will cash out anybody out here five hundred dollars if y'all can prove that God loves anybody outside of blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans in this Bible. Right, that's right. Five hundred dollars. Prove God loves everybody in the Bible, bro. I'll wait. Read verse seven. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. What? But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. This brother just talked for nearly an hour. Explaining how God only loved the Israelites, and you got these black people over here wanting him to love everybody. Cause they not gonna hearken to you. What's going on, sis? Uh-huh. He loved the world, right? Okay, let's get that scripture for you, right? Guys, uh, what did it say right before that? Yeah, I don't know. Right? <laughs> right? He loved the world, right? What world is that? Right? Hey, hey. Oh, look, slow down, slow down, brother. Slow down, slow down. Come here, come here, come talk to me. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You can hear me, right? All right, cool. Is that more than one world? Yeah, it is. So which world is talking about right there? Yes, it do. Yes, it do. If it's more than one world, if it's more than one world, we got to categorize it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's that 45 and 17. What's up? Yeah. Let me show you something, Isaiah 45 and 17. Let me show you, I'm gonna, we, we, it's, it's, it's really a rhetorical question. It's a trick question. For sure it's a trick question. I'm trying to get you blacks and Hispanics to come and listen to this Bible, right? Because when you read, hold up, this is King James Version Bible, it's Holy Bible. First, give me John 3.16. Let me show you something in this Bible, right? Read the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. But God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, right? Believe it to him, shall not pass but have everlasting life. Now hear that, right? For God so loved the world. But it's more than one world. Can we agree? Go to Hebrews 1, verse 2. I'm going to show you something. Hold up. I ain't going to go no Hold up. Don't go no Don't go Because if you want to follow the Lord, you got to stay and listen. I'll pray, right? Give me Hebrews 1. Hebrews, Hebrews. 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 Have these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the world. What did he say? By whom also he made the world. So now we quantify that he made the world. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Read again. There's the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 2. Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So we can acknowledge it's more than one world, because that world is where the answer is. Can you acknowledge that, that he said that to Of course. But so, you got to understand, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you didn't put no emphasis on Prove that case, though, didn't yes, I did. Oh, you did. I you said prove he prove he loved anybody outside of Black Spaces and Native Americans. No, 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 That's no, what no, I listen, said. Listen, listen. You saying the world, and I'm going to show you that that world is only one group of people. What you got? Let no, go. Oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Now look, you see that word world right there got an S at the end, right? 
Now I'm going to show you that the world that he was talking about was the world of the Jews. The world Damn. of Black Hispanic Native Americans. Go to Isaiah 45, 17. Watch this. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved. Who? But Israel shall be saved. Who? But Israel, Israel shall, shall be saved. saved. So the Bible is talking about a salvation for the children of Israel. It says, but Israel shall be saved. Go ahead. And the Lord with an everlasting salvation. This same salvation he's talking about in John 3 and 16. Right? Everlasting salvation. Right? Go ahead. You shall not be ashamed nor confound your world. You shall not be ashamed. Hold up. Y'all got an All right, so look. So look, so look. He's showing y'all the passage, right? So you acknowledge that it's more than one world. Okay, so when you go to John 3 and 16, it says for God to love the world, but you have to quantify exactly which world it's talking about. This is more than one. Nah, I told that, no, but guess what? No, it ain't. You didn't put no, no emphasis on that, though. I did. You I just said, said so love everybody. Bible. I said prove he loved everybody. And that's where it proved. That's not. So it don't prove. How, how they don't I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Now read Isaiah 45 and 10 to the end. Let me show you. Give me. You give me John 8. But let me ask you this. You Do you not acknowledge that he said God so loved the world? I have no choice. Obviously, he said. Okay, so that's it. That's right. That should be the end of the bit. No, that's not the end of the bit. You don't think I know uh, somebody I'll go to John 316? Even you weren't thinking about it. Y'all don't think you I'm weren't thinking about it. Hey, it went in your you mind, mind, bro. You didn't know him. Even your God. No, 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 no. I knew it. Hey, I knew you it. Know. And I knew y'all were going to go to John 316. And don't even know what. The question you asked was, why are you praying the Bible doesn't say that God loved the world? I'm not saying that. I just said it. You said, why does it say God love people? God love everybody. I said, it said God loved the world. He gave his son to the world. He loved everybody. He said, he said God, God loves everybody. He said he loved the world. He, so okay, the world so, is everybody. So, so they can't contradict this word. Go to Romans 9. And when you said world, you put a hand on it and let you know it's more than one. Okay? It is not say world. It's not 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 That's in Hebrew. That's a different scripture. Right? Go see. Go see. Go see. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. If God loves everybody, tell me how this makes sense. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved the Israelites. Go ahead. But Esau have I hated. What do you say? But Esau, Esau have I hated. What do you say? But Esau, Esau have I hated. hated. If God love everybody, why you hate Esau? Who y'all working for? Oh, you working for God. <laughs> how he, he loves everybody, how he hate Esau? Right, the Bible does not teach an all-inclusive love. It does not teach an all-inclusive salvation. Okay, when Christ was on the scene, who was he speaking to? He was speaking to the Jews, right? Right. Give me John 4:22. Hold on, Avoid foolish questions. I'm the law and genealogy. They already chose. Of the Jew. You see that? Christ says salvation is of the Jews. There's not an all inclusive salvation. Why he said salvation is of the Jews. Where is everybody else included in it? Where? Where? It's not. Right? Give me Matthew 15 and 24. When people read John 3 and 16. Yeah, I believe in God. Of course I believe in God. I believe in God and his son. Yeah. God only loves Israel. Yeah, God only loves Israel. God only loves Israel. So people will automatically take you as a man. How can, how can you take somebody as an atheist if they read out the Bible? Because they're not listening. 
Yeah. It's their fault. It's their fault. I understand. Right? I understand. You okay. Because I, I'm not going to listen to anything, but I understand exactly that's what you're saying. I appreciate that. So that's why I'm asking you a question. Okay, cool. Don't, so, don't feel me. No, nah, you good. You good. You good. Keep it on me. So you heard Christ say out of his own mouth, salvation is of the Jews. Yes. Right? Yes. So does So does God want to save everybody? He do. What, 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 Matthew 15. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the what? But I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ out of his own mouth said he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Out of his own mouth, he said the only people he came for on this earth were the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How is it everybody? How, how is it everybody? Who is in Israel? That's a good question, That's a great right? Question. Blacks, Hispanics, these people on this side, right? Patrilineally, were the were the actual people who inhabited who inhabited the land of Israel, right? Prior to us being pushed out of our land, right, going into different captivity, going to different slaves, being brought over here in chains, stripped of our information, stripped of our nationality and our heritage, we knew that we were the Israelites and we knew the true doctrine of Christ. Right? We knew that God only loved us. Give me Deuteronomy 7. Right? God loved the Israelites. He don't say he loved everybody. Nowhere in the Bible you're going to find that God said he loved everybody. Give me, uh, yeah, give me verse 8. So, 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 I'm going to show you. I just told you. These people on this side. Okay, so, these, so this is everybody. No, it's not. All you see is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Haitians, Jamaicans, right? People of the Dutch Caribbean. Right? Different... Different, what's up? Why y'all leave? Why y'all don't care no more? That's I, tough. That's I, tough. I, That's I, tough. I, I, right, well, there's a lot of knowledge on that piece of paper in front of you. All right, so, right y'all enjoy y'all day. Right? People just can't get, it, it's, it's crazy how people can't fathom because y'all have been deprived of so much self esteem and self respect and self dignity that God can only love blacks and Hispanics, man. Y'all are so deprived of self-esteem and self-dignity that it's too hard to fathom that the creator of heaven and earth only has love for you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. And that's a damn shame. Because we come smooth out the book. We come smooth out of dust and the Lord proving, proving that he only loves you so-called blacks and Hispanics and yet you still fight tooth and nail. Y'all fight tooth and scratch, tooth and nail to prove that his love is for everybody, man. What you got? Psalm chapter 5, verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. What? Thou hate all workers of iniquity. People say, oh, he hates the sin, not the sinner. What do you say? Thou hate all workers of iniquity. Don't say he hates the work of iniquity. He say he hates the worker of iniquity. Right? Another cold cut in scripture proving that he does not love everybody. Right? Go ahead. Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high hate sinners. What is that? The most high hate, hate sinners. sinners. Hey, y'all hear this? Y'all hear this? It's that God's all the world, right? Read. For the most high hate sinners. But it's that he hates sinners. So he can't love everybody if he hates sinners. He just said For the most high, for the most high hate sinners. What did he say? Hate sinners. But it's still, it's still, they ain't turned away from it. You can't, you can't, you can't. Show me that's a sin. Show me damn is a sin. Show me saying damn is a sin. Show me saying hell is a sin. I did. How the hell is that a sin? I said it again. Amen. Right? You got first one of the 16, 30, 30, 30. This is the first chronicles, chapter 16, verse 13. <laughs> oh, ye seed of Israel. Oh, ye seed of Israel. He said, oh, ye seed of Israel. Go ahead. His servant, his servant, ye children of Jacob. The children of Jacob, those who descend from Jacob. Go ahead. His chosen one. Is who? His chosen one. So if he has a chosen on the earth, and he, he is still all this up. Give me second engine 6 and 54. Right? Because it's talking about his chosen ones now. Right? The Bible is going into the distinguishment between the average Joe, right, the average human, and the chosen human. Right? This is second. Damn. This is second Edges chapter 6, verse 54. And it says, 
And after these, Adam also, whom thou made us Lord of thy creatures. Of him come we all. Right? Would you assist? She says, she says, so what are we? What are we? Yeah. I just told you, we're the Jews, we're the Israelites of the Bible. Right? So, okay, so you know, you ever heard of... You ever heard of Abraham? It's not a religion. This is a heritage. It's a culture, okay, okay. right? Yeah. This is this is this is a, a piece of information that's been hidden from Earth. More than a religion. It's not a religious thing, right? What is this? Right. This is a group of men up here teaching Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans their true nationality according to the Bible and the true doctrine of Christ. That's what this is. Okay. Right. So, like I said, sis, right? You would agree that Adam was created and everybody descends from Adam, right? Okay, cool. That's the doctrine of the Bible, right? Everybody descends from Adam. You don't know. Okay, cool. Hold up, sis. Hold up. Just the, the few scriptures right here, you can go, okay? Few scriptures, you can go. I want you to get a, a full understanding of what we're saying. Keep going. She's trying to take her. And the people whom thou hast chosen. So everybody comes from Adam, but specifically, we're talking about the people whom thou hast chosen, right? Whom God has chosen. All this have I spoken before you, O Lord. Because you made the world, uh, Salaki, you made the world for our sake. See that? He said he made the world for the chosen sake. Right? Go ahead. As for the other people. As for who? As, as for the, the other people. people. So he said you made the world for the chosen sake. But as for the other people, right, who you don't see on this sign, right, so-called Caucasian, so-called Chinese people, right, so-called Arabs, right, so-called Africans, right, who, who you know, the Hamite, the Ethiopians, right, the Libyans, people of that national uh, background, right, that the other people, right, go ahead, which also come from Adam, even though they also come from Adam, they, but they not the chosen, go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What the Bible say? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. What the Bible say? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. What the Bible say? Right? Did, did we make that up? Or we just read out the Bible. Read out the Bible. Right? So when people come up and try to say God love everybody, but he just here said, you got the chosen, you ain't nothing to him. Right? Who's the chosen? So-called black Spanish and Native Americans. Patrilineal descent. Where did he say that? Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy uh, 10. This is the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 13. Oh, you seed of Israel, his servants, you children of Jacob, his children of Jacob, his chosen, his what? His chosen, his what? His chosen. I said the children of Jacob are his chosen. I'm thinking I was going to say the wrong book. Yeah. The children of Jacob are his chosen. My children of Jacob. It's G A L S. Your name Well, you might be very well one of the children of Jacob, right? Little, little, do people believe, right? You know, are you familiar with the history of Sisi and, and how the Moors came through there, raped the women, right? Killed all the men. That's why y'all the Morians, right? So you more than likely are from the, ch the children of Jacob, right? I just want you to know that, all right? Well, you, no matter who, see that? Yeah, so, that, you ain't know that. I'm gonna give you that though. You got, you got a chance, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you got a chance, right? People don't know that the history of Sicily, right? Those Italians that are Southern Italians, right? Yeah, they not really Italians. Right? They descend from the Moors. They, 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 that whole thing right there is the offspring of the Moors' conquest. Right? Those people, those Moors, you find were comprised of Israelite men. Right? The real Anglo Saxons. Right? The, the angelic sons of Isaac. It ain't fucked up. It ain't fucked up. I want to nah, the Anglo means angelic. Saxon means sons of Isaac. So they were calling themselves. Nah, who cares about Muhammad? We talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Abraham, Ishmael, and on down to mom. We talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The, the story of the Bible is in regards to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then their descendants, right? The 12 tribes of Israel, and then who descended from them, right? The Sicilians, for the most part, right? When you do your, you gotta do some 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 history to your, your patrilineage, your father's side, right? You gotta go and do some history on, in regards to who your father and his father and his father is. But if you go back to the boys, man, you're Israelite, all right? And you gotta keep the laws of God. See, this ain't a, a skin color thing, right? No, it ain't. It's a patrilineal descendancy thing. It's about who, it's a heritage, okay? But most Italians, right? Most people, Romans, 
right? Most Europeans, most Caucasians descend from, you know, as a man named Esau in the Bible. Edom in the Bible, okay? And that's a person in which God shows a, a, a utter disdain and hatred towards, is what it says, right? So you better pray you come from Jacob and not Esau, man. All right? No matter where I come from, no matter who I am, right? Nah, it do, it do. That's the same thing. What are you talking about? You, you are who you come from, are you not? You are who you are, but part of who you are is who you come from. You can't be you without your daddy, bro. You can't be you without his daddy. What are you talking about? You are who you are because of who you come from. Right? Give me Job 88. Right? People try to disconnect themselves from their past and their history, man. You shouldn't do that. All right, go ahead. Get the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. For well, inquire, I pray thee of the former age. Say what? I pray thee of the former age. It says, inquire, I pray thee of the former age, man. Right? Look to the past. Right? Inquire and look and search within the past, man. Right? Go ahead. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers, man. Right? The Bible teaches you the importance of understanding your father's heritage, man. Right? So don't act like you don't. Right? You are who you are because of who you descend from, man. And that's a that's a fact. Right? Don't make the Ezekiel 3. Right? Folks sweating if I man. <laughs> <laughs> they got crazy. <laughs> he got he got crazy hell. <laughs> he got crazy quick in there by half a rank. What? <laughs> what? Hey, look, I'm a Bible scholar now, huh? What? Five, five, five. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I feel so pretty, Jay. <laughs> right? Oh, what's up? Y'all got a question? How y'all feel about this song? How y'all feel about this song? What? Read the song first. And then don't ignore the ignore the horns. Ignore the picture. Read the words. Right? I know y'all. Grow up using books with pictures in it so you don't have to read the words. But first, read the words, okay? Read the words. Y'all agree with this? Y'all agree with this? Uh, Y'all read that. Jesus is a Negro. Do you agree with that, sister? Do you agree that Jesus is a Negro? Yeah. 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 No. What? What's the problem? Uh huh. Right? So, who is this guy? All right. Now that you, now that you read that. Right, 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 right. So, so who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm nobody. I don't know. So why is this guy in every church in Memphis? Why is this guy in every church throughout the United States of America? Who is this guy then? If he got hair of wool, skin of burnt brass, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Huh? He not here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, man. It's crazy, bro. I right, give me Ezekiel 3. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 6. Oh Not too many God, people of a strange bro. speech and of an hard language who words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee unto them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. Hey, man, what you recording for, man? Right. Right. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you, man? This ain't no zoo, man. Right. You got a question? You got a question? You got a question? They look gay. He's confounded. Ain't you just saying something to me? <laughs> well, all the house of Israel are imputed. What did say? All the house of Israel are imputed and hard and hard hearted. See that? All the house of Israel, most of you so called blacks and Hispanics, are imputed and hard hearted. Right? Y'all got hearts of stone, man. Y'all hate your own people. Why right? y'all look at each other with evil eyes. Right? Y'all teach y'all children it's okay to be sinners. Right? I'm gonna give them no direction, man. Right? That's, that's having a hard heart, man. Right? You see y'all brothers up here teaching the word of God. Y'all walk past looking at them like they crazy, man. Right? Go ahead. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their forehead. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear not, fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house. What? Though they be a rebellious house. Scriptures call you blacks and Hispanics a rebellious house, man. Right? A bunch of rebels, man. 
a bunch of renegades, man. You so-called blacks and Hispanics have gone renegade against the Lord, man. Right? If you, when you close your eyes to pray at night, you think about this guy, you've gone renegade against the Lord, man. Y'all have gone rogue, man. Right? Excuse me, brother. Who is this guy? It's Christ. That's a cracker. That's a good answer, brother. That's damn good answer. All praise. Right? That ain't Christ. That's a cracker. That's a good answer, brother. That's right. Thou says, man. Right? You an Israelite, brother. Right? Keep the laws of God, man. Repent. Give me Matthew 3 and 2. Right? Go ahead. Y'all heard him, right? This ain't Christ. This a cracker, all right? I want y'all to know that. All right? Go ahead. Verse 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receiving thy heart and hear with thy ears. That's what we've done, man. Right? We received the words of the Lord in our hearts and heard them within our ears, right? And took heed to them, man. Right? Go ahead. And go get thee to them of the captivity. And that, so that's the first step. Right? Take heed. Listen. Bring it to your heart. Keep it in your heart. Right? And then you go out and teach the children of Israel. They don't say teach everybody. They say teach who? Go get thee to them of the captivity. Of who? Of the captivity. They say go get thee to them of the captivity. Is everybody slaves? Was everybody brought to America under, under boats? Chained up together naked? Right? All types of debauchery taking place to them when they get here. Sold on auction blocks. Huh? Children snatched from their parents. Sold to other plantations. Did that happen to everybody? Right? The strong men sold to horses. Whipped apart limb by limb. Did that happen to everybody? No. So that ain't who we out here for. We only out here for those who are degraded. Right? And lost because of the things that happened by their oppressors, man. What going on, y'all? What y'all think about this song right here? What y'all think about this song? Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's good. Come read the song, brother. Come read the song. We believe in God, too, brother. We believe in God, but we don't believe in that, when that, that white God that you pray to, though. We don't believe in that white God that you pray to, though, brother. All right? Right? Reading is fundamental, man. Reading is fundamental. What's going on, sis? How you doing? Y'all want to read this sign for me? Read this sign. What it say? On the left side over there. What they say? One. Jesus what? It's a Negro. Y'all believe that? You don't know? Is this Jesus? Y'all know? We know. The Bible tells us what Jesus looks like. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Y'all know what the word revelation means? I got you. Slow down, sister. If you want to learn, you're going to learn. Hey, 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 you don't do that to your teacher's school. You don't tell your, you don't, you don't tell your teachers, hurry up with the lesson. You don't set your butt up and take notes. All right, read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, these which must shortly come to pass. Go to verse 14 for the sisters. You want to rush. Right? We just showing y'all that the book of Revelation is a revealing of Jesus Christ. Right? So whoever even describe right here is Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Y'all missed it. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Right? Who got white woolly hair on the earth? This guy don't. This guy don't. Right? People say, we don't know what Christ looked like. Well, here's the description. Here's the reveal. It say, what? Well, he has hair like what? What's going on, brother? You agree that Jesus is a Negro? Yeah. How you find it out, brother? That, that knowledge, just knowing, huh? Y'all know Jesus was a Negro? Y'all knew Jesus was a black man? Y'all knew that? Y'all knew Jesus was a man? Of course not. Right? What's going on? What's up with y'all? Y'all got crosses that y'all believe in Christ? Okay, cool. Y'all believe in the whole Bible? The parts of the Bible? All of them. Okay, what's your background? Right? 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 Romanian. What's your ethnic background? Romanian. What's your ethnic background? I saw y'all Romanians. Okay, okay. Y'all know what the Romans did to Christ? So it's 119 and 44, that's all you really need to know Fast and pray away these demons, get yourself some room to grow They selling all these cancerous products up at the corner store We trying to warn our people and teach them how we all been brought low And ain't scared of the popo. -po. So 
Sakari the logo.